Welcome to Catch Up with Wellmag. Catch Up with Wellmag is sponsored by Flat Cap Rum, an alcoholic beverage that can be found on Instagram. The information is right now on the screen. Go and check them out. Let us know what you think. My name is Forever Sasha. Today, my special guest that's in the building right now is a guitarist. He has a career spanning over a decade. He is a soulful crooner. And when I tell you how talented he is, if you don't check him out after this, you're going to be in trouble. Yes, I am talking about the one and only C Block. Yeah, man. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Catch Up With World, Mag. How are we doing today? Very good. Yeah. Very, very, very good. Yeah. yeah. It's a good feeling to be here, mm -hmm. considering me I watch this thing on YouTube the whole time. So, yeah. today I know though. You made it, you're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, as I said, this is the place to be. Yes. How does it Some compare day, to what you see on YouTube? Do you think, is it the same kind of vibe you get? Yeah. Yo, yeah. The, YouTube is good. Yeah. The vibe is nice and mm. the scene, it just look tropical and rich and yeah. yo, yeah. yeah man, I love it. Love nice. it. I love it. So, C-Block, I just described you as a soulful um, singer in a sense. Do you identify yourself as such? Yeah, to an yeah. extent, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely, to an extent. I mean, I'm trying to put myself in a box. Mm -hmm. But if you say soulful, you're not wrong. Yeah. If you there's say, a, if there's you more. Say, if you say dance hall, you're not wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you say vocalist, you're still not wrong. So it's like, mm -hmm. you know? So a man yeah, that has many yeah. titles. Yeah, I'm going to try to just spread out with the music and just mm -hmm. experiment with it. Based upon how I feel. Yeah. How I feel today might not be how I feel tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So you might get something else tomorrow. Same yeah. Day, so you don't know. Yeah, okay. Man. So even though you don't like being placed in a box, say, for example, you were being nominated for a Grammy, yeah. what category would your music come under? Reggae music. Okay. Definitely reggae, because mm. that's that at the core to what I do still, but my love, just experiment however yeah. I feel, I just run with a the vibe there, so you might get a ballad, like the last tune you know, I just dropped, that's a ballad, mm -hmm. like an English ballad, right? Yeah. You hear it? No, I haven't. I was going to ask you, what's the You know listen to it? Champion? Mm -mm. You have to listen to Champion, definitely. What is it about? Um, just being strong, being... Res resilient. Okay. Going out. Kind of like wake up. Yeah. Is, is it... It's kind of like wake up, but yeah. only in a ballad fashion. Yeah. Okay. It's more mm. of a piano. One of them added something there. Okay, so that's yeah. that's basically your style in a sense. It's more in of a upliftment and, yeah. you know, right. But then you sing a song called Look Like, which is one of my favorite songs of yours. I mm. feel like you've touched on a topic that a lot of people can relate to without mm -hmm. even realizing that it's a topic to talk about. You know, look like said them I win, but that's what just look, look like. like. Yeah. So what inspired you to write a track like that? Because you write your songs Yo, well, right? You know what I it, Yeah, it's basically exactly that. Because mm. I'm out of the game and I look at it and I say, I love what I go on still, I love, you know, everybody I do them thing. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I know it's an evil present. So the, the minute, the most I say, okay, it's time to go back in. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I tell, me, I tell myself, say, evil can't win because you know, say enough people don't want to see me back mm -hmm. on the scene. Because yeah. they, know, they know the talent, they know the yeah. caliber, they know so I'm not playing. Right. You would have real mad. You know, because I'm sitting in the street with it. So you know, mm -hmm. say, what I go, I go hard. And I go hard with quality as well. So that was a song kind of, it's like a clearance. Like me, me, I make them know, say, yo. At the most I may move with, so I don't know, joke thing or anything, or yeah. the thing where, you know, nobody ever gets to tamper with, kind mm -hmm. of thing. So that, but basically, at the same time, it touched people from a different angle as well, though. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So you said a minute ago that you being back on the scene could be kind of intimidating to others, in a sense. Why do you think. No, not to, not to artists, you know. Okay. No, no, no. So no. what did you mean by that? Yeah, every, uh, yeah, every artist is good. Intimidating in terms of, there's a lot of people, and you probably know this and get this too, there's a lot of people you think are clap for you and a cheer for you. Mm. But really deep down, when you pull away and you look, you realise that is not the case. So how do you deal with people like that? What do you do? I just sing the good music. <laughs> 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 no, 
<laughs> no, yes, I can't not fight with nobody. Me can't, me can't. You don't cut them off. Yeah. You just no, no, carry no, on no. and stay. No, no, I keep everybody close, man. Okay. Friends and enemy. Okay. Interesting. But just know how for work. Okay. I'm older mm -hmm. now, I'm wiser now. The last time I the on the road, I was on the road about 2013, mm -hmm. 2014. Then I moved from London to Northampton in 2016. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm older and wiser now. Also, I understand the mission. So, yeah. So you're fully focused no, I'm on fully your focused. goals? Definitely. No fully. distraction at the side? No distraction. Yeah. Okay. No, no distraction. So if somebody wanted to get to know C Block, what yeah. would you tell them like, in, in like three sentences? Who are you as an artist? If they want to know that, like, in a nutshell. A messenger, because that, that are the first thing. When I compromise the message, and the message is just to uplift people, mm -hmm. basically. Because as musicians, you know, we speak for people who feel it and can't speak. Mm. That's why when people watch my, listen to my song, mm. they will shed a tear. Or it will make them strong up for you, but can move when, you know, you did afraid for do certain things or, yeah. do you know what I mean? So, what I say, that are my purpose, basically. Mm. So, but I tell them that about C-Block. Also, a very resilient youth. Mm -hmm. When I get, when I get it yet, how would I like it? Mm -hmm. But I still not give up. Yeah. Because I know what I thought there, because the most high never give me this gift for then watch me you know, you know, fulfill my destiny. And what do you think your destiny is actually? To reach as many people as possible across the globe. Okay. So with not, with this to, good vibe. It's not message. to be a big star, get no, a fortune. Mm -hmm. it's to, okay. I need to dress like a star and I see, you know, see over there. Well, it's clean. It's I tell you what, the cheap more and, the cheap and clean. No. billionaires don't dress in those old fandangles, you know? Their account looks fandangly, but not their that outfit. I know, that's true. So, yeah. That's true. So, the other day I played Look Like on the radio, and I was on my live, and there were some people obviously watching, and they were sending pull up, pull up. There's fire. Really? Drop. Yeah, they loved it, they loved it, they loved it. When they said they come get an email? No, I played it like last week. Okay, when you said the artist should send in songs. Right, yeah. No, okay. but I had that song already. Okay, I had still like... send it again. Oh, did you send, did you yeah, you send it again. Yeah, yeah, because I saw me a move, me a move professional. Yeah. If me see, if me see you reach out to artists mm. and you never really specify for one artist, of course me I get involved. Yeah. Cause me not, me not, me not more special than nobody yeah. else. So me I get involved, I make sure say my message get in at the mix as well. Mm -hmm. And I suppose and the it. message continues because, yeah. and they received it because the reaction was, it was really? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, pull up, pull up, and bear fires and stuff. And Another first time I hear it? I would think so, to be honest, because. So we need to do more work then. Yeah, of course. The work never stops. Yeah, more work yeah. <laughs> So you as an artist here in the UK, obviously there was lockdown. We're mm -hmm. out of it, but we can't get over lockdown. The fact that so many new talent, you know, pop up throughout lockdown. Some of them are still going, some of them are like, you know, dwindled away. But at the same time, you see Block that's been here, you know, pre-lockdown, mm -hmm. during and after. What's your take on the whole musical scene right now in the UK? It's, it's good. Mm -hmm. um, my Depan, um Styler, British Live, the other day, I'm here them bring up um, about the song first thing where they go on. Because I remember I watch a live that mm -hmm. Scatter was on. And he did promise the artists them so them to some artists are gonna get to go some face. Mm -hmm. Never really see nobody go. I did I think about it myself, but because me not in the street with them like that, me never really say nothing. But I remember him saying that yeah. on a program, mm -hmm. and them should I really follow through with it. Them as in them as Jamaica should I really mm -hmm. honor that still. Do you think that the, I I remember that and I did you remember? I did notice that no yeah. artist did get to go some first, but did the that? artists do what they were supposed to? Because we like to blame other people. But did the artists do? Did they fulfill the criteria of what um, was expected? Well, yeah. Mm. I believe so because, yo, this is the thing I noticed from me and the music with you, because remember, our structure is not as solid as Jamaica. All right. A Jamaica, every year you have a guarantee at least two artists bus. Now, when it's a bus, I mean, I think about this one here. Mm. When it's a bus, you don't talk about bus in a Tottenham or in a Hackney. You talk about bus all over. Mm -hmm. That means it's up to them now to go and carry that. 
right now the closest me see a happen right now in a Brit Britain apart from Sestology were out there already. Ashanti. Mm -hmm. That should have happened each year. Everybody as a as a cohesive effort. Mm -hmm. Cause your talent there. And that's why enough you get frustrated and just go do some nine to five car really and truly mm -hmm. in a Britain if it not work. And you know get the funds that come in a certain way and you say I go plan for the foolishness. You really have to go resort to a nine to five. So me that <laughs> love, me that really love a structure and I'm so passionate about it. When me I watch it, like the whole thing, I kinda of vex more time. Come here and say, surely me they're England from ninety-nine, like surely. Mm -hmm. Between everybody, and that's why I love this when I do, and that's why I was impressed with this before even reaching out. Mm -hmm. Because me I say, yeah. Because of that we need, we need more structure. Okay. You see, you say that, and I hear exactly what you're saying, but then you do have, you have people like you that love this, appreciate it, and reach out to be on it. But mm -hmm. then you will have stuff like World Mag here, other, you know, small or up-and-coming platform that reach out to the artist to yeah. be a part of it, and they will reject it. So when stuff like that happened with them and Scatterborough, I'm not too disappointed, because at the same time, you know, it, it worked kind of both ways. Do you know, because I'm sure that with Scatterborough or whatever their reason was, they have loads of other right, artists you know, that... You know, you're, you know, you're, um, because mm. I like how you, you, you kind of analyze and, and then find a different perspective, because that's good as well. Mm. And that's what I notice a lot with you, you have a different perspective. It's almost like it's a provoking, but it's good, because mm, you get your mind to think, what do you think the artist could have done different to be on? Because actually, I heard him say it. To be on. On Upon Live, on and I said, show. yes. Of course. Let I don't listen. know what happened, but I tell you what, what you I think? communicate with Scatterboro, right? So the thing is this, I feel like they needed to communicate. Some of them might have done. I don't know if people have been communicating with him, to be honest. But okay. hearing if an opportunity come and they say, okay, I need a host to go to some fest and I'm going to use this platform to get the host out there. I'm going to go to the platform, do what they say. Yeah. And then I'm going to reach out to them as many people connected to that as possible. Because it's my dream. It's not Scatter's. Do you understand? It was just like an extra thing thrown out there. I don't know the ins and outs of why it didn't oh. happen, but I feel like I wouldn't have stopped until I got what I wanted. And I don't feel like a lot of these artists are as proactive as they would. 100%. But they would say, yeah, but we're not around no man. But that's okay. But, maybe, but this is the thing as well. <laughs> I hear that. Yeah. But maybe it's the know-how because, again, because we don't have that ABC structure here. Mm. All right. If an artist was at England right now, they can literally drop right back in you know, because if they don't have the managerial structure, they can just get hot and cold right back in you know. Yeah. So it go right back to the structure. It's almost like the structure is lacking. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not blame no one person. I just I say, from 1990, I look upon it and I say, yo, if, it's, if, we, if we could have only structure this thing a bit more mm -hmm. so that artists can even start capitalize from buzz. Yeah. Not just only like one show here and one show, but actually start come out of the country because it's only England. Yeah. There's so much more. Again, go back to Jamaica. At least minimum two artists a bus per year. Proper mm -hmm. bus where yeah, yeah. everybody know them for Yeah, we saw a few the other day, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So me I say minimum. Yeah. When that happens, then people get in place and you just see things things start move. Yeah. I think we need more of that here. Yeah, I, I feel like most of it, to be honest, in my opinion, comes down to the artists. But the artists, they don't know. Uh, them know what? But that's the thing, Sasha, the artists don't know everything. All right, me, I do music they since 2009. Right. Mm. The artists don't know everything. All the artists is, you know, mm. is, is, a, is a person mm -hmm. with this yeah. burning fire and this passion and this love for the thing. I understand. And I Which I was, really. even from 2009 when me started. Mm. Never know nothing about no PRS. MCPS, mechanical rights, mm. and all that. Me never know, you know me have to learn them the hard way. Okay, there you go. So I learn a lot of things the hard way still, but it took me a long time, because what we know now, 2015? And it's supposed I to mean, take 20, you a long 22? time. It's supposed to take your time. Just like if you want to be a doctor, I mean, you want to be a lawyer, you know, not because, yeah. because people see the great life of artistry. They don't yeah. see the hard work. So they feel like, okay, I'm an artist now. Let me just relax and bone my stiff on. Yeah. No, there's more to it. And I hear the whole thing about the whole scatter case. Like I said, I don't know where the artists are concerned, how that pan no out, why it did pan yeah. out like that. But I feel like the artists, what they need to do is take more accountability for themselves. 
Like, did you do everything that you could possibly do to make sure you were there? If you didn't, then don't blame the next person. No, me can't, me can't speak for them. No, me can't speak for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like me say. Because it's very easy to blame Scatter. It really is. Oh, no, I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> don't, don't even... <laughs> No, no, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. No, me not do that. No, not do that. Just, I yeah, just yeah. remember him being on this live, and then it was something where something in the pipeline, and I said, "Well, that would have good." Cause me, me, yeah. me, you know, say me there, there. I'm just happy to be back in and doing what me supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But my answer, I listen. I'm a no. There's artists for me. No. Did you put yourself no, that, forward? No. Interesting. Why not? Because me, all right, what me there in terms of you have to know where you're there and where you are trying to do and, and, and the process. So I'm going to run. Oh, There's you artists, like you weren't ready for the, the seven years when me come off of the road for mm. as, as much as I know my craft, mm. I'm going to fear nobody. But there is artists there that's been prominently putting in them work. And me, as an artist, if you know, say, the artists are forward from UK. And I got touched to Jamaica stage. Yeah. Artists for me, you know. Artists for me used to have up in a studio a, 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 a voice with a vibe around. If him go to some fest, I go to some fest. That's how me see it. But then everybody's not like me. But that's interesting. But that doesn't stop just like you could have gone to some fest and they feel like they go. So why you count yourself out? No, no, I'm not saying I count myself out. But, uh -huh. but I still I'm still. No, because it. me still. Me still. All right. You have artists where we're where, where literally out there right now. Right. A bun up a road. Uh -huh. And me as an artist can put my hand on my heart and say, yo, if me see stage there, so me can tell you whether me want work or whether me gonna send somebody else in. So again, I would time you know them things, because you know means I'm not hungry, it means I'm not passionate, it means I'm understand myself, it means I'm understand what me I try to do and the timing of what me I try to do. And at the same time, my heart's so free and so clean, I'm confident myself so much. When I know say, if I push somebody forward, I'm going to take away nothing from what I carry. Because I know what I carry. If I'm wrong, and viewers at home, if you get the same vibe as well, let me know. You know, but I'm getting the vibe that you feel like, okay, somebody else should go because they're out there more, they're doing more work, so it's their moment, not mine. Is that the kind of thing? It's, it's not even that much about um, their moment, not mine. Mm. But I feel, I feel there's a, there's a few artists right now in the UK. Because yeah. I'm not going to dance at night time. I live in Northampton. Dance, dance, dance. But I put in my work mm -hmm. in other areas where effective. But I know I have my ears to the street, social media. Did it. I've seen artists right now who I know at the road and, and, and them, them solid enough now they can start launch out even more. Mm -hmm. Not one or two or three, a good few. I'm not me proud of them. Mm -hmm. Because if they never do, do that, Apart from Stylo, we're out there, or even Gappy. Um, I mean, who, who, who are going to go there go and hold it? Yeah. So that even me could have forward back in and, and in a space where we can still forward and get inspired from a nice vibe because a quality and a level out there. But me, I say, yeah, I just say it for them. Because I remember you know, most of the music where I do music, I, I Jamaica and them, you know. So you think where, where you them do a Jamaica and not miraculous where we can do it. And this is always as from the time However, me out there. Don't you think that the artists in Jamaica to the artists in UK, there is there is a slight difference? It's it going to be a slight difference because mm. Jamaica is the home of the music. Mm -hmm. It's like the factory, one. Two, again, like England just set up different. Mm -hmm. So God bless, say certain little things are going where we can accommodate. So mm. When the biggest um, reggae show keep over here, the other day, for the first time, though. No? What reggae show was that? The one where they keep in the park somewhere. And them say the biggest one in Europe. One keep on Milton Keynes recently again. Reggae? But really, unless you have a, a few promoters that do stuff, mm. you don't really have um, the facility for artists and um, exercise like that. No whole heap or nothing. And that's why I'm here to come um, reach on this platform because I love me love the fact say, you know, this in place. Mm -hmm. And it can it can it can it's an ex um angle where you can get out there. Yeah. But it may feel like there's just more that can be done and 
Not because I'm an artist. And I like me to stick up for artists. Because I think no, that's, no, that's, think that's where I all. get. No, no, no. no, <clears> no just a, the point of view yeah, I just yeah. kind of basically say, I believe it all come back down to the structure. Because mm. I believe the moment even that come out and out, somebody should have take up that. Not just the artist, but what, somebody what, should have. About scatter? Yes. <laughs> what do you mean somebody Some should take that, it up? What do you some, mean? Huh? What do you mean somebody should take it up? Like, what do you mean? So, with the ins and outs and, and, and try to put things in place. and Oh, run, okay. Yeah, because like I said, the artists, mm -hmm. a lot of artists, I mean, I really speak for not one individual. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I speak from experience, what me know. Yeah. And even big artists of Jamaica right now still don't know their rights to music. Mm -hmm. It took me a long time, and I still don't know everything. But I say, an artist really only want to be in a creative space. Mm -hmm. So really, I don't know, everybody have the time for put a team, fi, 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 fi drag a team around them because again, you know, a country where everybody depend on them hustle. Mm -hmm. So really, if you if you find somebody where this side, say them as a go around with you, you better appreciate them. Yeah, what is it? England, that's why I say, you can't compare it again like Jamaica. Mm -hmm. a Jamaica, you can't make one phone call and you have one whole community around you. Mm -hmm. You don't even know who a manager for, who a road manager, because your whole community are, are come with you. Yeah. I got a road with you, or, or, or. You know what I mean? But then you need that person in place for, for, for kind of connect certain things. Going back to when him said that, but really, honestly to God, me really did when me, when me hear them like bring it up on the live, me I said, John, oh yeah. Because yeah. me, me not forget nothing, so it's in the back of my head from him say. Mm -hmm. And me say, me even tag a few people, me think like, yeah, they're ready for the platform, of course, me, they're going to represent me. Yeah. They're going to represent Jamaican will actually get a chance to come to England before yeah. artist thing they kick in. Yeah, well, I wasn't, so on the live. There. I wasn't on the live, so I don't you know wasn't. exactly what was discussed, no. But before Sumpfest happened, yeah. I was thinking I didn't see any announcement as to who was going to Sumpfest. So, I, like I said, I don't know what was discussed, but it sounds like people are having a conversation after the fact rather than <laughs> securing something, which, which it seems to be the, the theme in dancehall. Okay. Wait until there's a chaos, then moan about it rather than yo, let's let's make sure I'm on this. Yeah. Although in saying that, artists might not have made it to sound first, but a big shout out and congratulations to MJ, DJ MJ. He made it to sound first. Oh, he yeah. was on the stage. He met Shensia. He met Spice. He went backstage. MJ, like, I mean, his team, they're on they're, they know what they're doing. Do you know what I mean? They go, they go, and they don't stop. So shout out MJ and his team for that one. So UK was in the building. That's true. Just wasn't an artist. <clears throat> that that's true, that's mm -hmm. true. And then it go back to people in place. Right. Following up. Right. So yeah, yeah. you're right. Come see him there, and I say, mm -hmm. yo, that, that good. Yeah. I'm but like I, know, I know what you're saying about the fact that obviously people have their jobs and they have to, you know, do that because artist life doesn't really pay like that. You know, yeah. you have to have your job, etc. But... Until you're giving it 100%, everything you do is your responsibility. Yeah. You know, if, if things don't work out, it's no one else's fault but your own. You have to, that's why, you know, people are like, yo, I give up my job or I secure money so I can mm -hmm. go and focus on my career full time. But where are you at with your career? So, like, at this moment? Mm, good things. Yeah. Some brilliant stuff. Yeah, can we talk about the really? and stuff? Yeah. All right. Course. So before we talk about it, this is the example of what I mean about being proactive yeah. and reactive. So Scatter gave them an invite. They needed to be reactive and proactive with that. You were proactive when you got the good news. Like, tell us the story. The, I like that. Oh, the BBC story. thing. Definitely. So me basically sit down in my house when um they off. I mean, I said, "Yo, we need to do something." Because mm -hmm. ever do something anyway. I have my home studio, everything. So I always do my thing. I literally send out um, emails. Mm -hmm. And then I have BBC radio. When I drive past every day, BBC Northampton. Mm -hmm. And I say, oh, I forget in this place here. Yeah. Right. For six years, I drive past this building with the bus and I look for them. And I say, trust me, one day, I love to hear my song on the radio. Mm -hmm. So I Google them. Because I never have no links to BBC like that. I Google them. And I see a number, I call it. He said, he got to voicemail office number. Nobody not pick up. Mm -hmm. I think he said, oh, you thought, um, oh, you thought your number, me see, and call it. Lady pick up. Mm -hmm. And she pick up and me explain to her, when may I try achieve 
by this by making this phone call. Yeah. And it just so happened. I said to her, the long and short of it, I said to her, I said, she said, um, I said, okay, I'm a bus driver, but also a musician. And it's my day off. And she said, you're a bus driver. I said, yeah. And she said, hold on, I got um, a bus fanatic on the radio right now. Mm. Um, Edward Ado. Oh, wow. He's a bus fanatic. Would Great you like timing. to would you would you mind speaking to him? I say, what do you mean mind? That's the whole point of me calling. Me never know say me I get that. Me say I give me more than one more bag yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. So me say, of course. Mm. Then she come back to me and she I say, oh I'm sure I almost have finished. But would you mind coming in the studio tomorrow? Me say, what do you mean BBC? Mm -hmm. She say, me say, what do you mean? Of course. <laughs> yeah, asked, of course, definitely. So me reach there, and it come like me know them for about. A good five, six years. Mm -hmm. Just the vibe, the energy, the welcome. Get my song play, mm -hmm. talk a little bit about boss, because that my doing, man, on the music. Yeah. And then them dip right into the music and just open it up. So, and then even on the back of that, um, they're now talking about um, putting me on some program called Look East. I didn't even know this was a TV program. Mm -hmm. Look East. Um, so they say I'm very unique, so they want to feature me. That's good, yeah. And then play Wake Up from yeah. BBC, the big reggae track. Mm -hmm. And I remember again, this teach me something when I got there. Then I said to the program director, because she was so good, she was the one that picked up the phone, Suki. And she I said, um, me I said to her, I said, I have this um, song, Champion, piano, kind of Adele kind of stuff, English stuff. And she said, no. Mm -hmm. She said, they're looking outside the box, because wow. that kind of stuff, them, it's, it's there every already. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she said, no, that track, wake up. Mm -hmm. And I was like, really? She said, yes. Yeah. That's what they want. I'm like, All right, say less. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to give it to them. And they, they liked them, it. Them drop it. Well done. There them you drop go. drop it. Yeah. And that's from you picking up the phone saying, you know, Bro, let me find out what's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's it. You've got to, obviously, there was luck involved as well and timing. And timing. a whole heap of thing, but timing. you don't know until you try. Yeah. I guess. In that song, Definitely. Champion, were you playing the piano? Yeah. You were playing it yourself? I produced the song. Okay. Wow. Actually, even Wake Up, I mean, produce all of them. Okay. Look like the whole lot. So you are Play a singer, the slash prom, um, producer. Yeah, the only thing I don't do is mix our master. Mm -hmm. We sell it off and mix it, but yeah. Okay. What instruments, what other instruments do you play? Guitar. Mm -hmm. Guitar. That's the right word, though. Guitar, yeah. Guitar. Mm -hmm. Guitar. Bass guitar. A yes. bass. Piano. Can't play drums, though. You can or you can't? I can't, you know. Okay. You're learning? You want to we learn? Can't, no. No, I no, want to learn to play it still. Okay. So why did I you I think it's too far. It's it gone too bad now, because I never have an instrument where I get drawn to like that. But I can knock it on the keyboard. I can't okay. find the drum them on the keyboard or the, the, the drum machine. Yeah. Yeah. So piano yeah. and guitar is your special My thing. Yeah. Well that's good. How long have you been playing those instruments? Um probably a pitney. Okay. But me only play to a certain extent. Yeah. So if I sit down with professionals where uh, learn music, then probably run rings around me and tell me, oh, oh this is A and this is G and this is G dash and so me just play on me here. Oh really? So you don't know the Nah. Lies. I play, but some of the greatest musicians play by ear. So I play by ear, basically. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to play by... I'm going to read music. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just play from the heart. What's your favorite song to play? Do you have a go-to song that you play on the guitar? Ooh, I have a lot. Give me three and I'll pick one. What are you talking about? My catalog? Anyone. Just your top three. Jesus, Steve, you can't do that to me. Give us a song that everybody knows then, one that we can join in on. Look Like. Look Like. That's your song. Yeah, we can. You think everybody knows the song. Like, we're here on Catch Up With World, my dear listeners here. If you're playing Look Like, because I'm going to ask you to play on the guitar, right? So you're oh. playing it on there, you wanted to join in and sing mm -hmm. along, right? So mm -hmm. do you think that's the one you would like to play on the guitar? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah? We can play it. All of my songs, them. 99% of my songs I can play with the guitar anyway because that's when I start there. When we get the inspiration, before me even sit down on the computer for the production, mm. I take the guitar and break it down and see what the chord arrangement feel like. Yeah. Because sometimes when I get when me get the inspiration, I get it with the melody 
and, and the card arrangement in place and then sometimes it's just lyrics. Yeah. So when we just get when we get lyrics now we can go up on the guitar and colour it. Okay. And then set it. Cause look like that's what happened with look like. Okay, I would love to hear you play it look like. Let's just I know you've got your guitar in the studio. Yeah, right? I do. So if you can, you know Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Do you wanna go get it and then you can yeah. Guys, whilst he gets his guitar, don't forget that Catch Up With World Mac is sponsored by Flat Cap Rum. C Block is enjoying a cup of Flat Cap Rum right now. Make sure you grab yourself some of their small bottles as well so you can try different flavours. Can't say I did not tell you about this. When you see your friends with Flat Cap, don't say, oh my God, why didn't I try it? Shout out Flat Cap Rum. All right. So C Block is about to play on the guitar. Look like... Yeah. When the heathens come upon me to eat of my flesh, they will stumble and fail, cause you go before me. Cover me. Do not make the wicked take over me, no. It look like Sadam I win, no. For that I just look like cover me. You know me, them take control of me, no. It look like Sadam I win, no, no. That I just look like you are the passenger. Me are the passenger, you are dry. I got close one, then you are right. And show me who me is. Tell me if you relax. You lead the way, so me are going to be quiet, yeah. Because you are the lifter of my head, Lord, you deliver me. From the traps and the snakes, when nobody cares, you were right there. You are cover me. Don't make the whiskey take over me. No. It look like set in my window. Oh, God. That I just look like cover me. You know me and take control of me. No. It look like set in my window. No. That I just look like. Where I say I sing it? Me, no, you don't put me to shame. No. Look like over me. Now me them take control of me. No, it look like set in my window. So me keep me on my side. If me fight, me can win. Say you will fight for me. No talking in a run up gun. When evil run up come, we send them back to the sender. Use lightning and burn up some. Ooh, just me if you want myself with a second chance, yeah. Second glance, yeah. Some learn an exercise, patience, nothing on new wickedness. They are punishments over me. So make the wicked take over me, no. It look like set in my window. Oh, that I just look like you just cover me. No, me them take control of me. No, it look like set in my window. Cause oh, that I just look like. Yes, and I'm clapping for everyone at home. Yes, mm -hmm. drop the clap emoji if you enjoy that performance. Look like performed by C Block on the spot. I love that you came here with your guitar ready. I love it. Preparation. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I loved as well about that performance there? Yeah. Obviously, it was unplanned, but also your voice control. It yeah. was incredible. Do you know what I mean? Like, obviously, you knew you were coming for an interview. You didn't expect to really sing. Do yeah. you do voice warm-up before these occasions? Because you, you went to some places with the notes. I don't, you know. 
You don't. It's a gift. Mm-mm. And that's why I say, I kind of understand it now before. Mm. Like me used to just out there and I do it and know so people are real and are cheer for me. Yeah. And I, you know, they're there with me. But I never understand the gift and the power me I carry. Hence yeah. why I think the most I go sit me down for like seven years. Fall out, I love with the music. Mm. You know, me almost, me all I change on my Instagram name mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah. Never want to do it, never want to know nothing about it. But see, it, let me see our time, so I just get back on the journey. Yeah. And it's a journey. For me, it's not a competition. Hence, again, what I can say. Um, but they're really kind of disappointed, so I never see nobody. Well, but you should be disappointed in yourself. But then again, you them, say, there. them say a few artists did they, they're still with affiliates, affiliation to here. So I mean, <laughs> I don't understand how you're so disappointed that the other artists weren't there, but you're an artist yourself and you weren't there. No, but then again, that's that's what me. I said that's just me. Mm. Because all right, I'm coming, I'm very naive, you know. Mm. You know what? If if you if you tell me say you gotta give me that coach, then I want it. Okay. I mean, I look on your face to see if you're serious or you smile, car. You say, I'll give me it some more. I want it, I go pack in my car and carry it. I just need that. Right, right. But then that's probably one of the things where I did need to be mindful of in the early stage because, mm. again, you know what I mean? So we're not street smart, but because we're so clean, well, now we, my heart so clean. Mm. So I'm just pure and naive. Okay. It took me a good while to realize that even evil exists. When I say evil, I talk about unseen evil. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If a man run up on you with a gun, you know, say, he might mm-hmm. hurt you, you're mm-hmm. going to move. When I right. talk about unseen evil, it took me a while. So I was so naive. Mm-hmm. So I'm a big, but I have a lot of growing up with you, spiritually, yeah. mentally, and so come now, I understand who me is. Because that's what I'm saying. That's the first song, really, I'm sure about that. Mm-hmm. You show me who me is, tell me to relax. You are lead the way, so I go and keep quiet. Yeah. So really, if I don't have to talk, I confront nobody about nothing. I'm just in my own little lane, and my own little space, because I know my journey, I know my duty. That's why I say, I never feel no way if I did see artists or something. That's what I want, because it means that I can get myself together and feel like, all right. Next so you feel like you need someone else to go there first to test the waters before you do it? Not from a scared point of view, but mm. like I said, we did art for like seven years. It's not While your artists out there are tired and are putting in the work, I create them buzz. So of course, give them them, them chance. Have you never seen an artist? Or they've, I've seen a few in my lifetime that came out of nowhere and just boom, blow up. Of course. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot of artists. Yeah. But, but I don't know where I go back to. <laughs> Cause I, no, I'm quite right. shocked. Me personally, yeah. of course, I'm me, me ready. Mm-hmm. Because if me did do some fest, I do one performance. Yeah. I remember when Kranix, when Kranix bus, I remember vividly when he bus. Right. I remember him style, I remember how he controlled the crowd, I remember the lyrics he must spit. At mm. that time, it was so unusual. Right. And I the same kind of message and elements surround my, move, mm-hmm. my movement and my purpose. So I know say if I go there, it's not going to be a jump up thing. Mm-hmm. You'll probably hear all the crowd silent, but them silent because they're absorbed. Not That's because I'm cool, mm. but because I know my, my, my journey and mm. my order. Yeah. So do you, you have know? a team currently? Currently? Oh, God. Some, some serious miracle happened when I got BBC. Oh, gosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some serious things. But you have things. a team now. Oh, God, some serious things happened. I just met the manifest before me. Yeah, yeah, Try but it. do you have a team? Even if without saying it, do you yeah, have a team, would yeah, you say? Yeah, definitely okay. have a team. But I'm whom we can big up as well. Mm. Um, that same wake up tune. Mm-hmm. Um, dance a life, dance a life, dance a life. Mm-hmm. Me and um, BSA DC Selector, Spread the Glory. We just mm-hmm. organically link on um, Instagram. And I reason for like about a month. I'm sending my songs. And him say, oh, I'm going to listen when I get a chance. And him, him come back to me and I say, yo, you need for all the youth to think they're ready. Mm. And him say, listen, everything. Do and you feel come, ready though? Him come back to me? Mm. Of course. Okay. So if, if someone's meant to come right now and say, boom, ready, let's go, do you feel 
Me ready? Like no, me. Do. That's and I think that's why you probably misunderstand what me there try to say, you know. Mm. Because of my, um, because of how me see things. Yeah. Me I say, me literally sit down the whole time, mm. and then when me clap back in, or plug back into music. Cause me did proper plug out, you know. Mm. When me <laughs> plug back in, me see. Some artists out there mm -hmm. I hold the Very banner active. on a flight. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm going to bounce and go move them out of the way, like say, mm -hmm. like say, oh, me there now. So, but why do you me see go, as me go take this. Me I love for them get the opportunity. Why do you see as bouncing? Isn't there enough space for everybody to do what they're doing? Why do you have to just make yourself smooth? If everybody could have go, because again, if that was Jamaica, where a quite a few of them from Jamaica went, mm -hmm. but this was a, a situation where I think them did say to him. Something like that. Something that when I remember, mm. them say too. So, mm -hmm. Mother said, Yeah, man, I know, me know artists, so I can confident myself enough to go represent me. How do you know? Because we, we're talking about something. I feel like something is the topic right now. How do you, I mean, everyone's like, I wasn't on the live, I must yeah. say. But from hearing what you're saying, it's like, did, did anybody, how we. Do we know if somebody from the Thumpers team reached out to these artists and maybe their prices were too high? You know, maybe they... Was it a money thing? I don't... That's what I'm saying. This is business. Okay? I don't think it was a money thing. Factors, I'm not saying it is. But there were factors to be considered when making moves, right? So there might be some artists that will be like, might be, I don't know. I don't know anything. Just, you know. Oh, my price. You just have put that out there. No, <laughs> no, that can't. If 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 that if that be coming to play, and obviously, I don't tell nobody to work for free, but you're just giving a scenario, aren't you? Of mm, course, cool, It's yeah, a scenario you're giving. Facts, I don't know anything. Um, so my, my speculation, you are giving a scenario, I speculate. <laughs> I don't think that would ever be the, the case, because mm -hmm. any artist from here, and not that they're, they're not worth it, but any artist from here, I gotta get there. Artists are working in England for free. What do you mean? This is some fest. You stay there because it's some fest. You don't understand what? how some So you have to tell me some money, I gotta stop. Because it's, it could be, I don't know. Nah. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm just, I'm just, you know, speaking. Well, that's, that's However, I feel like we do need some answers from Scatter because I'm speculating. You know, I, once you set the scene, I've got different actors doing yeah. different things. So I don't know. I don't know what's happened for real. So. Well, Mac, we need to. Have, I know me is a still, you know. So, uh, I know me is saying, okay. Me, <laughs> me just, me just I say, what? as an onlooker and a part of the industry, me never feel no way because me obviously never put myself in the running. Me even tag artists, because I'm safe tag artists. Yeah. And when you didn't things tag yourself. Like go represent and you. you didn't tag yourself. No, I didn't. But that don't mean. That, <laughs> hey, that's irritating to me, I swear. It really, it really is. <laughs> We are going to go yeah. some first. Okay. I am going to say, listen, my work, <laughs> this is the thing, this is what I said to you, my work not stop at England. Yeah. My work not stop around the corner. That's what I'm saying, I understand the journey. The four corners I at the earth have to hear me before I close my eyes. Mm -hmm. Because I understand my journey, I know what I carry. And like yeah. I said, the most I never give me this. If mm. nobody not hear me. Right. That's why I go back to what I did, I say, spread the glory from BSR, this is on the biggest um, sound system in the world, bar none, right? <laughs> He come back to me and he say, yo, this wake up tune, mm -hmm. it just resonates with him. And I say, of course. Because if you play a wake up when you get up in the morning, everything wait I say. Because mm -hmm. my music is basically the kind of a message. Me get it. Me never have to sit down and bust my brain feet. And it's mm -hmm. basically where you would get up and just sit down and stretch and just say it. That is what my music is. Right. The words where you would just get up and nonchalantly say is what my music is saying. That's mm -hmm. why it's, it's message. Yeah. So when he must say, yo, that tune, and within the space of like two weeks, he fly out and fly back in and say, yo, he might he just attest it. And right now in Jamaica, he might page me, because we talk every day. Mm -hmm. Like I say, just an authentic connection. And he said the tune, I, I, he said he can't video when it, but he tune shell up my beer about two nights ago. Okay. Shell it up to where now, um, even Iri FM and a few more radio stations are asking for it. Nice. Since nice. I'm my way up here, when I come out of the car, he mm. just sent me a voice note. So I have drops and jingles to go do. Nice. About four or five radio stations in Jamaica. Almost, say, a good 50% of DJs in the street are asking for wake up. Mm -hmm. So that's why I yes, post it up 
on my Instagram and just, and that's what, a year later? Yeah, yeah. That was a last year song. That's, it doesn't expire, it's time. But that's what I'm saying, it uh -huh. don't expire, and sometimes it's just patience. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, when we do them tune, I even that tune um, look like. Mm -hmm. I said, the most I surely now give me this message to give to you people and then make you pop and their fears. Yeah. Because I know him and he's, he's not that kind of creator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I know say, it's just a matter of me exercising patience and obedience. So and it might be in my time, but you know, his time, right. everything will come together. Can look, look at that. So wake up basically, Buster Jamaica right now. Wake up, wake up, yes. Me. Can you okay. imagine that paper morning radio mm -hmm. Jamaica? Yeah. And the whole, the whole country, the whole island, I hear that. Mm -hmm. So it's gone clear. Yeah. Well, so congratulations yeah. on that. Well done. So uh -huh. you explained that you do have a team. Um, how much you can say about that is totally up to you. But in regards to you having a team, does that mean that your bookings or your movement is kind of restricted or? No, okay. not yet, not yet. Okay. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't be restricted. Mm -hmm. Put it this way, me, first and foremost, me are the artist. I'm, I'm not even... I'm not an entertainer, I'm glad I'm here, but just say it. Mm -hmm. So, me is not an entertainer, I'm an artist, I'm a messenger. Okay. I entertain a full of gimmicks and I'm ready, I'm not really there for the gimmicks. I'm just there for my duty till my time is up. Mm -hmm. With the guitar, with the vocals, yeah. and with the medal. So, and that's no, um, not to nobody where say them and mm -hmm. do them entertainment yeah, yeah. and gimmicks, because it's our uh, one. Everything of your work. Your thing, your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. make a world spin, really, but I know my assignment. So, I said that to say, which, when me go out, when me put my foot, is really down to me. Okay. Because I'm not really, you know, my things are getting neither. You know? So, certain things, I know I say, I know my thing. I'm not going to shoot my place, certain, my foot, certain place. Do you, when was like the that. last time you had a booking, or where was it? What kind of booking was it? What kind of vibe was it? Um... When? I did a memorial mm -hmm. recently. What was that and like? That was on request. That was good. Yeah. Because they literally request me. Mm. Um, and I did I did few stuff like that as well. <clears throat> I'm I'm signed up with a booking agent at the moment. But okay. the gigs that I get it kind of far still considering say me have a drive bus. So <laughs> me kind of no, seriously. So yeah, me, all right. But then at some time, we get um, we get a gig um, a Blackpool. Yeah. From Google Blackpool, a three and three hour and two minute to be exact. Mm -hmm. It's sticking on my head. <laughs> three hours, two minutes. <laughs> and I look for it and I say the money. Cause obviously, my fly, me go Canada twice, me go Germany twice. So really, I don't even think of so much a distance because, like me say, me I go go to four Canada. Right. Yeah. Right. But no, I kind of try to strategize a way to actually do this thing fully. So the journey has to make sense? No, 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 no. I not talk about the journey because I have to go, in, go everywhere. No, it, it didn't make sense in terms of finance, you know. Mm -hmm. But this job, man. Oh, okay. Mm. Which is, that's what I tell about the England thing. Mm -hmm. So we can't really do it like a yard. Yeah. Because I yard a man just get up hungry and decide to make the music. Yeah. We not really have nothing. I got to do tomorrow morning, so. I hear you that. can go in six o'clock. Yeah, the struggle is real. I hear uh, that. Yeah, so, mm. so we will get the chance to come out England. It's almost like a blessing. Mm -hmm. And then if you decide, say, I'm going to launch out, not just music, a lot of things, it will, it will hold you back. So you, you have really have a strong mind and decide, yeah. you know It's almost like you have to gamble. Yeah, yeah. Because when we did up on the scene mm -hmm. from, say, 2010 to, say, 2014, when we had that burn up the road, and I, and, I, and I get a nice buzz. But they have to quit my job, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. But they work around me, and I'm there for 10 years, and I have to come and decide, say, yo, Music. can I do it to them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you feel like you're in a place now, if, you're, if you have to quit your job, you will quit your job? Probably. I will have to. Okay. At some point, of course. Some opportunities are, 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 are come my way, and let me tell you, even with the BBC thing the other day, there's a lot of things that spring from that one Wait, so I don't forget. I really want to understand. You had to you quit your job that you had for 10 years to do music, but mm -hmm. then you quit music. Like, you sacrificed something then, yeah. but then you quit music. Was something else happened for you to do that? So why did you quit? I never quit me quit. 
The Paul. The most I just pulled me off a road. That's that that are the best way me can say it. Mm -hmm. No, then we couldn't say it when we did in the the mm -hmm. dormant stage. Mm -hmm. Cause from twenty sixteen we moved from London to Northampton. We never this happened the last time I go to Canada. When I come back, as I step off of the plane, I come out, I left the music of Canada. Wow. Remember, we have a big fat studio at Tottenham, on a broad lane. I don't want to go to the studio. Big fat studio. Mm. Tough, tough, tough studio we have. I don't want to go vice. I don't feel no vibe. I don't yeah. want to hear no music, nothing. And I just come off the road from, from them time till shortly after I leave London to Northampton. That make it worse. Mm -hmm. I start to delete all my Instagram name and you yeah. don't work for sitting off on my YouTube and just now uh, did even go in a church one at a time. You know? Mm -hmm. And then I realize eh, the most I really out here with me. So you were definitely Coming on a journey career wise yeah. and personally, so it was mm -hmm. big which is fair enough because you haven't lived until you you know yeah. cut things off and start and to just yeah. stop again, which is fair enough. But we're going to wrap up the interview. But before I do that, I want to ask, what's your, where or when is your next event? So if anybody that's watching that want to see you perform live, they did just get a taste, but maybe they want more. Them, them can stay tuned, but um, I have an um, a album on my work on. Mm -hmm. But I just create some buzz with this wake up song. Because like I say, it's doing some good things in Jamaica from what I okay. get. Mm -hmm. And that you will shortly see on my um, social media platforms, okay. all the platforms, you will see that. But in terms of shows, as and when it comes, because I'm putting something in place, some structure I put in place now, like I said, from that one move with the BBC thing, mm -hmm. it's almost like more to the most I just work this miracle. So there's a lot of things that yeah. come out of that right now. So, yeah, and good things, man. Fair enough. Well, good where things. can the people find you? Because for them to keep it locked and know what's happening with C Block, because things are going to be yeah. happening, popping off soon, they need to know. What's your Instagram handle? C Block Music, C B L O C K M U Z I C. Oh, music with a Z. Music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's across all platforms. Okay. Any platform, the same thing I got pick up. It's not one thing here and one thing here. Okay. So easy to find. Yeah. C Block Music. Oh, and TikTok. I'm trending on TikTok. Ah, he's trending on TikTok, people. Within one day, <laughs> over over twelve k views what, on, a, what was on a, that? Cook, a cooking video. A cooking video. It's on my TikTok. Oh, okay. What's the, Were you singing in the background or something? <laughs> no, I don't. You have to check it out. Okay, it's the same no, name. We didn't. It's not even one day good, because mm -hmm. earlier it was at twelve k. What's the comments? Like? It was me. Oh, so basically, it was my son, twelve year, thirteen, in my KFC. But I scrap that and go a little go get some chicken. And make your own curry. Yeah. No, I never make curry chicken and rice. <laughs> and then in reaction when I put it on in front of him. Yeah. So, TikTok I mash up right now. But what's the comment saying? What do they like? That's what I'm what saying. saying? TikTok I mash up right now. Yeah, but what are the comments? The people that come. They're, 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 they're basically saying me do the right thing. Okay. No fast food. Okay. So and then some, some people are saying I should have, could have, could have um, make it home with um, KFC still. And that's what I thought you were going to do, you know, french fries. And then we put um, curry chicken in it. We put um, sliced tomato and, and lettuce on the side. But really, that no girl curry chicken in it. Did he enjoy it? Um, I <laughs> think so. Him, him, yeah, he have more sides still, so I said that. Yeah. Okay. So that a trend. I don't know. It's just gone. It, yeah, them the are run, and them are, funny. Yeah, and them just are correspond with it. Yeah. And I interact. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah. All right, so before we go, is there anything you want to say to anybody that's watching, you know, shout outs, anything like that? That's your camera, feel free. So, may I say this is C Block, and me just have to give thanks for this moment. Mm -hmm. So, may I have to shout out to World Mag, and me feel good to be here because I remember back in 2010, 2011, when me out there do it, World Mag did a lot of articles highlighting me. As a young artist, just I, I try, you know, finding a way. Where my was very, very supportive. So I feel good. It's almost like this is home for me. Okay. You understand? So I shout out to Real Mag for the platform and keep doing 
what you guys doing. It's only a matter of time before you see the numbers jump up on YouTube. That's why I'm saying I have to do it anyways. Because the numbers will go. The numbers are there, we just want more. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah and consistency. Yeah. Consistency, but I'm I appreciate this platform because we need it, and it can't be too much in England right now. Anyway, we need it because unless we're traveling outside of England, these are our platform. Yeah. So we we need more of it. Yeah. Um, as a shout out to every artist, we are doing it. You know, me not a single cause yeah, yeah, single yeah. Not nobody cause me know everybody. Right. Maybe might not meet some of the the, the artists that were forward in other space since me kind of mm -hmm. did. You know, off the scene. Yeah. But I big up everybody and continue to you know, you know, them love with everybody. You know, and everybody in you know, them own right, them own space, them own style. Mm -hmm. And I sure say, we have talent in the UK. Mm -hmm. You know? So, yeah. yeah, man, I mean, I say, give thanks. All right. Well, this. thank you so much for um, joining me for this interview. See Black, everybody. Make sure that you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn, turn your notifications on because we have loads of interviews coming up. Also, drop a comment. Let us know your favorite bit. Let us know of any artists that you feel like need to have a moment to have a catch up with World Mag or, you know, whatever you feel there is. Like this video, share it. Until next time, but before you do that, make sure you go get yourself at least one bottle of flat cap rum. If not for you, give it as a gift. Okay? Take care of yourself and bye.